Ay nako, hindi pa rin tapos ang mga issues ko sa mobile porting from Glow Prepaid to Smart Prepaid. Hi guys! Welcome back to Tea on Things. I'm Rai! And in this video, we talk all tea and a little bit of shade. Actually, a lot more of shade. On my issues with mobile porting from Glow Prepaid to Smart Prepaid. In my previous video, I mentioned about my experience uh, with mobile number portability. Maraming maraming salamat nga pala kay Steve Torres, one of those who commented in that video. And he mentioned his experience na mas mabilis daw if you go physically to the store. So if you want to know more about how I did it, click on this link here. I will post it somewhere here. And in my very recent video, I talked about three issues that I encountered moving from Glow Prepaid to Smart Prepaid. Maraming maraming salamat nga pala kay Vance Virtual Room for giving me one more issue that is the subject of this video. So nga pala, before I proceed with this video, I want to talk about my giveaway in this channel. As soon as I reach 600 subscribers, I will be giving away a Nokia C1 smartphone which I unboxed last year. Madali lang sumali. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to comment down below this video. As I've mentioned earlier, ang issue ko nga ngayon with my new smart prepaid is receiving the OTP or the one-time passcode. Kaya nga, di ba, one of the reasons why I mentioned bakit kailangan tayong mag-port is para we can keep the number. I was able to keep my number nga, pero I'm having OTP issues. Natapos na nga yung iMessage activation issue ko, which I will post in another video kung paano yun naayos. Pero here we go with another issue. Una ko siyang na-notice using the Metro Bank app, di ba? When you do your transactions online, either via browser or via phone, you will get a one-time passcode or OTP to your mobile number to verify your identity. And pangalawa ko siyang naranasan sa Citibank. I'm not having issues with Gcash, Security Bank, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, and other apps that need the one-time passcode. But in fairness to Smart, they have always been very supportive of this case. And in fact, I want to give a shout out to Jella, the one who's handling my case from iMessage to activation to load consumption. Ngayon naman yung OTP issue ko. Anyways, paano ko nga ba to na solve? Unahin natin si Metrobank. All I did was, I called up their hotline and it was very easy to get through a service agent. Told them about my case and my experience on not being able to receive the OTP. And then before we ended the call, the agent gave me a reference number. Guys, very important yung reference number na yan ha. Kasi kapag nag-follow up kayo, para hindi na kayo mag-go through all the questions that the customer service agent needs to ask you. And that's what I did. So I had a second call after the second day from my last call. And I mentioned nga na up to the second day from my last call, eh hindi ko natatanggap pa rin yung OTP. But on the third day, ayun, naayos na siya. Because I attempted to do an and then after a week, I experienced naman si Citibank OTP. And guys, may sasama pa pala sa customer service behavior ng Globe. Aside from the fact na it will take you 11 minutes to go through that automated response using their Citiphone hotline, which I will post down here. Nakatatlo akong customer service agent. On my fourth one, si Clark Tenedero, maraming maraming salamat sa'yo. Siya talaga yung nakatulong sa akin. So basically, what I did in Citibank is the same as Metro Bank. I had to call Citibank and complain about the situation. Unfortunately, they don't provide service reference number. As of this shoot, 
hindi pa rin naayos ni Sit the Bank yung OTP issue ko. So sabi ko sa kanya, kung hindi pa ito maayos come Monday, I will call and request for service termination na lang. To be honest, kung magkakaroon ako ng OTP problems like this, tapos hindi nila maayos ito, tapos ganun pa ka-rude yung mga customer service agent, you know, might as well have the credit card cut. Diba? Probably recommend not to do porting. Bumili na lang kayo ng extra SIM card and process all the changes of your phone number. The thing kasi with the porting, yung mga first two, three weeks mo, okay siya And then the problems and the issues come along after that. But anyways, if you want to go through that experience, why not? Sige, try nyo rin. Baka naman, by the time na kayo na yung gumawa, eh, naayos na ni Smart and Globe yung mga porting issues na ito. In my next video, pag-usapan naman natin kung paano naayos yung iMessage activation ko sa aking iPhone, ha? Don't forget to subscribe para naman updated kayo sa latest happenings here on Tea on Things where we talk all tea and a little bit of shade on tech, trends, travel, and taste. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!